Slim for the summer with Jimco, Finicky and Cityside. Start your summer by Join online at jimbelfast.co. Everybody, good welcome to week four of Slim for the summer. We've just been live on Cool FM Facebook for Saturday afternoon. I'm Stuart Robinson. And again, it is time for our weekly weigh-in. Uh, over 15 of the Cool Saturday Show, all weighing in every week in the bed to change their lives, motivate themselves, and ultimately be slim for the summer. Not on it right now, I'll maybe just quickly show you what the result was for me on the scales this week. Um, of course, I'll weigh in first, and then all our friends of the Cool Saturday Show will be weighing in, hoping that they can shift the pounds this week. So we'll get to them in just a second. Uh, for now, I'm just looking to see that we're okay for me to get on the scales and do my weigh in this week. Uh, so a reminder that last week I had got down to 18 stone one. I lost four pounds last week. I will I do on the scales this week? Here comes my live Facebook weigh in. Check this out. Okay, um, so as you can see, uh, it's just one pound off this week, so that's my lowest week so far. Um, it's a far cry away from the first week when we had 14 pounds off. Um, obviously, it's not the week that I wanted, and I suppose, as I said right at the start of this when we kicked it off on week number one, inevitably we will all get these weeks where we don't get the result we think we deserve, we think we've maybe worked harder than what the scales have told us, um, or even in the case of some of our friends of the Cool Saturday show already, they've maybe put on a couple of pounds, um, and you've got to take that on the chin, and I suppose key is... A result like that for me i was hoping for another four or five pounds this week it's easy without the focus and old habits and things like that um you got to just dust yourself down after a result like that and and keep the pound and it's a pound in the right direction so that's how i need to think about that Last week was a good week. Nobody put on any weight last week. There were a few status quos. ...to start to change their life. It is worth noting, and this will be interesting to everybody taking part, we We have lost eight and a half stone. And that's even before Deputy Dave comes back and starts losing weight. He'll have three stone to lose. that collectively between us already in the first four weeks, we've lost a total of eight and a half stone. Bruno, give her a big round of applause, please, everybody. On the way in last week, I thought I worked really hard and I just, skills weren't my friend. <laughs> yeah, the skills were wrong last week. That's what happened, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, of course, on the first week, you were the biggest loser that week. You lost half a stone. Uh, you went down to 15-2 and then you stayed at and you think I'm unstoppable, I'm brilliant at this and then you get a slap around the face it knocks you back to reality doesn't it where I go wrong so it actually made me push harder this week did you have a cry no okay but you were you were disappointed do you think you've done enough this week to start to move the scale back down again? I sincerely hope.
Jump on the scales. Let's find out how you've done. Good luck, Brona. Pounds. Happy day. Good. How are you feeling about that? That's good. Happy. That's it now. I got to push on and didn't get what I wanted this week, but I can come back and, and maybe get it next week. So well done you. Thank you. Thank you. Great result. 14 stone 13 into the 14s. Bro this week. By the way, it is worth saying, just in case you haven't realized, uh, the show is in Jimco Cityside this week, uh, not in our usual studio. Of course, I was doing the radio show live from the movie house earlier. A few people in. Anyone else been in a gym lately? For quite a while uh, and who felt you met somebody in a gym or you met somebody called Jim right okay <laughs> yeah, that figures I suppose a few of you probably quite nervous walking in here because Uh, a workout next weekend here. Uh, Neil, who you may have heard on the show, is going to start to PT me, and hopefully we're going to get a bigger result next week down here at Jimco. Okay, let's move on. We have another contestant to weigh in. Next up, Christopher is from Ballyclare. Uh, Christopher wasn't at the weigh-in last week, so this is your first weigh-in for two weeks, Christopher. How have you been getting on since we last spoke? Um, really well. Obviously, I wasn't here last Saturday. I was away with work on a video shoot, and there's just tables of buns and get a decent number for two weeks. Do you feel um, a little bit daunted that you're here in, in a gym? I mean, this is not, let's be honest, anybody who's overweight, this is not our natural habitat. You know, we're, you know, like in a, a Domino's restaurant, that's, you know, we, we, feel, we feel at home there, but this is not our thing. I'd prefer the way. Last way in two weeks ago, this week, you weigh. in the fortnight. I'm happy with that. I can keep that up. I'll, I'll go a long way. Pretty go. I mean, you're pretty much getting down into sort of the B. Now, you must be feeling the benefit of, of that. Yeah, I really am. I mean, one more pound off and that'll be me. Tr tray bakes, did you? I did, yes. Not like the first week when I went. Good man. Well, listen, you're getting ever closer to your goal. Well done to you. Five pounds lost. Christopher, we'll see you next week. Great results. So two good results so far on Slim. Uh, on the way in last week, you were down to 16.8, Donna. And you were happy with your, your one pound off last week, weren't you? I'd be even happier if I got a half a pound this week. Half a pound. Okay, well, we're not measuring in half a pound, unfortunately. So, but maybe we, we can sort of whisper in your ear if it is a, is, is a half a pound, okay? Uh, so, so what do you, by that, what are, you, what are you telling me here, reading between the lines? I haven't had a great week. Um, nice. What sort? Boost bites. Oh, good. A lot of energy in those. Yeah, yeah they were great. Um, and tell bites hundred yeah find out how much Don has lost. On the last way in you were sixteen stone eight. Today you weigh Go the boost bites. I honestly have no idea how that happened. The boost bites did it. Has to be the boost bites. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, great result. Four pounds off this week. Amazing. Whatever you're doing, keep at it. I'm not sure about the boost bites, mind you.
She's next. Elaine's had a couple of great weeks. She lost two pounds on the first week. She lost four pounds. Um, surely you can't keep that momentum going. You're maybe thinking a bit like then that this is the week where it's slowing down. It stopped. How was your week? Did you get out much? I know it was blowing a gale a lot of nights. Were you, did you get any extra? Um, not really, but I went walking this morning before I came here. Okay. Make a prediction. You were 14.12 last week? Um, two pound off. Two pound off. That'd be good. Right, let's find out. How scales. 14.12 last week. Wow, 14.10. You got your two pounds. I did. I'm happy. I would be delighted with that. So far, the most rubbish person today has been me. <laughs> Somebody better put on weight this week or there's going to be trouble. You'll find me face deep in a Burger King after the show, um, consoling myself. A great result from our guys in all series. to get themselves spurred on from week to week. Okay, next we're going to speak to Gareth Massey from Cumber. Gareth was down to 17 and a half stone after a couple of really good weeks on the Slim for the Summer scales. He's back with me now. Uh, Gareth, I can tell certainly with the, the guys, I can start to see the weight coming off. How do you feel you've got on this week? Well, I've, I've had quite well and I've been out walking as much as I could in the No, you just put your coat on and get on with it. Yeah, it's, it is hard when it's lashing on you and there's a gale force wind outside as well, but you, you do need to push on. So you were down to 17 and a half stone. Um, you're getting the pounds off rightly on this. Are you feeling better, you know, four weeks in? Yeah, it's generally, you know, it's getting used to the eating, the right food. It's almost making friends with hunger, isn't it? So when it comes knocking that you're... You're not likely to give in to it. You, you almost welcome and relish um, hunger rather than satisfy it. So let's find out how... So today he weighs... Seventeen four. another... Keep it, keep it going the right way. And again, you know, a lot of you guys losing weight this week, not necessarily feeling you've had a brilliant year. Did a bit more is surely something to be very happy with. Absolutely, you know, three pounds, three pounds. It's better going that, going off than on. Big time. It's a great result. Was it three last week and three this week? So that's steady. Well done. Uh, Gareth, everybody, good on him. Uh, doing very well. Just a reminder, if you're joining us on Facebook Live today and you want to check out Robinson on Snapchat, and you'll get all my sort of night-by-night uh, -night updates on what we're sessions as well a lot of that content a lot of uh, facebook updates you can expect to see over the coming days and weeks as i'm getting beat to death here at jimco i will also be covering off a lot of that on the radio show as well so make sure you check that out. it is going to be us live right now on Saturday afternoon. You want to shout in a message of support for any of our contestants or throw in a question or just wish any of them luck, uh, you can do that as well and we'll read out some of your messages as well for the uh, next batch of weigh-ins. So feel free to comment on the video, share the video, like the video. Uh, Sixteen eleven last week. She lost five pounds last week. How are you feeling? It's gonna, is it going to slow down this week or have you kept the momentum going? Okay, I think it'll slow down, like, but um, hoping for... Yeah, I never thought I would lose £11 in two weeks. Like, 
It's crazy. Is it the fear of standing up here? You've got 30,000 people watching you out there, thousands more on the radio. Is that really working for you? Yes. Definitely. Beautiful, po yeah. you know, uh, poetic, but let's see exactly how you have got on. So jump on the scales. Here comes Laura's live way in. So 16.11 last week. This week she weighs. You're 16.8. You lost your stone. Go you. How are you feeling with that? Incredible. In, you know, three weigh-ins now, you've taken that down. You've lost a stone of weight. And again, I can tell that you can compare you today with the week one video if you want to watch back on it. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty good, yeah. So hopefully I worked it out. If I lose two pounds every week, that'll be four stone off for June. So. And I mean, you, with this momentum and with the focus you have, you're going to get to where you want to be, aren't you? Definitely. Go and celebrate, but not with Burger King, okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, and at three pounds off this week's very symbolic because that means she's lost a full stone since she started out on this on week one. Right, let's crack on. Uh, our next Laura is Laura Patterson of Killy Lay. Um, she lost a pound last week. She had a bigger week the week before where I think you lost four pounds in the first week, correct? That's correct, yes, I did. Okay, so you're five pounds lighter than you were when you started. How are you feeling you've gone this week? Eh, not too bad. I think I was at work a lot this week, so I didn't get to work out as much as I wanted. But, yeah, I think I've put in good effort with my diet and hoping for a loss. Okay, you're staying focused then, yeah? Yeah. Will we find out how you've done? No? Okay, we're going to skip Laura's. Now, nah, jump on the scales. Let's find out what the result is this week. So, last Saturday, 16 stone 8. Today, you weigh. <laughs> 16 stone 5. You lost 3 pounds. I'm happy with that. I was a little bit disappointed last week with a pound, so 3 pounds is good. I'm happy. It is amazing. Well done to you. These kind of numbers is really brilliant work. So well done, you three pounds. Sixteen five then for Laura. Is anybody else going to save my blushes and only lose a pound or maybe put a bit of weight on me today? Good job. Um, next, we're going to speak to Lorraine uh, from Lisburn. Lorraine Rooney, everybody. Okay, so we missed you last week, Lorraine. Um, You've been away from the scales for two weeks. I felt earlier when I did mine. Um, you put on a pound. What have you been up to since then? I was going to be like you the first week, but I put on a pound. But just hopefully this week it will be go for me. When you went home on that. date because it wouldn't have got me nowhere but hopefully it's tough it's tough and i think we've all we've all been there and we know that feeling that crushing feeling especially as you say when you felt that you deserved more and then you you jump on and you and you put on weight it's, it's horrible um but i'm i'm so happy you're back because i thought last week we had lost you i thought we had lost you you'll never lose me okay good stuff that's what i like to hear jump on the scales let's find out how you've done today Twenty-one stone, thirteen pounds today. She weighs twenty-one stone ten. Yes. Time for you. Yes. Well, yesterday I done a class and I was down to twenty-one six, but it's womanly time, so I am I am over the moon with that. I've got a fact different skill. And it's three pounds from where you were, and now you know that you can do it. Yeah, it's amazing. God. 
get back next week and let's get it down into like 21 single digits, okay? We'll see you then. Well done. Brilliant. Three pounds for Lorraine. I'm so happy for that young lady because obviously she struggled on that first week and she's now got the scales going. Okay, we're going to move on. And Louise Edwards is from Bangor. Louise is going to come up next. Uh, she was down to 16.13 last week. You lost just a pound, didn't you? And you were telling me that that was not good enough for you. You wanted more than that. It was pure heartbreaking. Um, I'm not going to lie. My face told the story. It was awful. Um, the amount of work I put in. This week, I, if I can remain or even put one or two pound on, I wouldn't even be that bad because of the week I've had. What, what sort of week? You, you're for a couple of nights and obviously there's no food so you're not doing your exercise and then you're you're not actually eating so you're going into starvation mode um, I have been to the gym last night on Thursday night but um, yeah and as we talked about when we spoke about this on the radio you've got your routine life can throw you um, a curveball can't it and that throws you off track yeah, you just don't know what's around the corner, to be fair, but it does throw you off track. Um, but hopefully I'll get back on it. Um, I've got the marathon to do, and the guys behind me have all joined up, especially Stuart and Laura. So they have. <laughs> that's brilliant. I mean, that's yourself. good focus. And myself, yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Well, I mean, will I what? Will you do it? Will I, will I do the marathon? We'll talk about that on next week's show. Give me a break. I've just signed up to a PT. I mean, that, I'm, I'm still trying to come to terms with being... Go from 22 stone last April to running. Yes, you can too. Much of an Have you done more today? Let's find out. Your weight this week is your your body has a funny way of working itself out and calibrating next where you think you've had a lousy week your body thinks differently well this is for my little girl today she's okay by the way yeah, yeah evie's brilliant yeah evie is doing well evie. and mummy's doing brilliantly as well uh, four pounds off. We'll see you next week. Well done, Louise. Wow. Incredible. I think week four of Slim for the Summer shaping up to be one of our best weeks so far. Some really great results coming through here on the scales. Uh, next, we're going to speak to Martina Kennedy from Down Patrick. Uh, Martina, a bit like Lorraine, was a little bit disappointed um, on the first week. Come on this, Martina, because you guys on the first week put on the one pound and it's hard to come back after that and, and, and to, to feel focused. You, you were disappointed, clearly, that week. I was, definitely. How are you feeling today? And since we last saw you two weeks ago, what's it been like? I've been walking a lot more, so I'm dreading to see <laughs> We talked about your grandkids. Um, they keep you busy. Have, have, you, have they been keeping you busy the last fortnight? Oh, I made them a playroom. Didn't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've shunned them in there. Okay. Well, let's hope we can get a little bit of a result on the scales for you. Jump on up, Martine from Down Patrick. On the last weigh-in for Martine, it was two weeks ago. She put on a pound. She was up to eleven stone. This week, you weigh. You're ten six. My goodness. What? Eight pounds. I mean, that makes you, so far, and I would say today, that for percentage of body weight, you will be a contestant this week. Eight pounds off against an 11 stone weight last weigh in uh, puts you in number one. Well done. She can't believe it. Give her a big round of applause. Well done. Wow. Really good. Really good stuff. Okay, uh, we move on today. Maureen Casey is our Balamina girl. She's 
doing it and was very happy last week because after a couple of weeks of trying to find your way with this, you bring the sugar back up again. Plus, I was potty training a two-and-a-half-year-old child, which didn't work well on Wednesday morning because he was dangling off the end of his toe. Okay, not ideal then. A bit three other this week, but not as much exercise because my routine's up the left because I've been off trying to potty train but I have been trying to keep with some calories so here's hoping Okay, well again there's only one way to find out, it's been a mixed week for you uh, only the scales know how it's really jump on up, let's find out this is Maureen then from Balamina on the last way in she was down to 12 stone 7 pounds that was Twelve stone five, two pounds. I'm happy. I'm very happy. At some, it might have been less than what I was doing last week, but every bit counts. Before you, because I know you've been finding your way with this. Another two pounds is brilliant. And again, that is. The Cracking on rightly through them. Uh, just a reminder, if you want to shout in on Facebook Live today, you're very welcome to do that. Comment, like, share our Slim for the Summer Week 4 video. And also bear in mind our Snapchat channel, Stuart Robinson on Snapchat, if you want to add me there for all the Slim for the Summer updates. If you're interested in finding out more, you're inspired about what we're trying to do this year on the Cool Saturday Show, give me an ad there and find out more for the summer. Okay, we just have a few more to go. Uh, is next, Paula Kennedy from Bangor. Um, I think you're looking great, Paula. You um, had a first week. Right. Yeah, I mean, again, I can talk about home for a cry after the show today. Um, uh, I'm going to find refuge in uh, in the fridge. I'm sure there will be a solution around. It's tough, isn't it, when you don't get the result you want. What did you do to push on? Um, I've been in the gym a lot more this week. Really, really binged. Uh, Talk me through it. I like it. <laughs> it's my filthy talk these days. Yeah. yeah. No, seriously, what did you have? Oh, loads of crisps. Loads of crisps and chocolate and everything bad. But I've been in the gym five days, so I'm sort of hoping it will make up. Five days in the gym. Five days. I'm dreading one day next week. Cancelled out. Sure, it has. It better of. She was ten six a week ago. Jump on the scales. Let's find out how Paula from Bank performed. Good luck to you. Ten four two pounds is brilliant again against 10-6 you're one of our lighter contestants here you don't have the same height by the time this is over what do you think you're at? where do you want to be I would like to be between 8, 10 and 9 between now and June, you're there really, aren't you? And that's sort of the level now that you you need one, two pounds a week. Is is that, um, and the gym's working for you, clearly. Perfect. Brilliant, good result. Well done to you, Paula. This is brilliant. This is a really great week we're having on. Um, Ryan Downey is, Ryan's from Lisburn. On Slim for the Summer a week ago, he was 17 stone 10. 17 stone 10. We hadn't seen you since the first week, so you were happy because obviously two weeks off, you managed to lose six pounds? Yeah, it was six pounds altogether so far, so happy enough. What are you thinking this week? Hoping to lose more. I've actually just agreed with Louise that if I get down to 70 and a half stone, I'll do the marathon as well. Louise must be on a commission from the marathon as she's signing up people left, right, and center. Um, have you ever done anything like that? the pound snap pounds better than nothing you did that for me didn't you oh yeah yeah just 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 for you pound each then um i imagine you feel just like i did at the start of the show at the end of the day a pound's a pound so it's better losing than gaining so and it's about coming back now and i know you and i have certainly more weight to lose so 
you know, it's not unreasonable to expect two, three, four pounds for the guys. Uh, and my focus is certainly to work harder this week. That's the same as well. We'll probably see you here during the week. Yeah. So, you know. yeah. Sounds good. Okay. See you here. Yep. All right. So just the pound then for Ryan, um, which, uh, of course, as I say, a little bit disappointing if you're hoping for more than that. Uh, but a pound, as he says, is a pound, and it's a pound direction. Right, next up, uh, final three, Sarah Gray from Dromore is here. She's had a couple of good weeks. She lost two pounds on the first week. She lost three pounds last week. How much are you going to lose this week, Sarah? One. One pound? Maybe, or stay the same. Right, okay. Why do you think that? I've been really, really good this week, but I just don't feel different. You know, the last few weeks I've felt that I've lost weight. On you, it's true, and even a couple of pounds difference, you, you, you feel the just in your clothes and in your skin, don't you? True, and it didn't help last night. We were all out for a staff, staff do, and we were eating quite late, and yeah, I don't like to eat so late in the evening. Yeah, I know, it's a habit I'm trying to get out of too. It is tough sometimes, particularly when you're in those social situations. Right, jump on the scales. So a week ago, you were down to 12.2. It's a loss of three pounds. Let's find out how you've done this week. Twelve stone, one pound. That's that's great. You you got to be happy with that. Oh, I'm very happy with that because I didn't really, I wasn't feeling it, so I wasn't expecting it. And stay the same or a loss. It is going to be slow because I've only a stone and a half really now that I want to lose. So I know it's going to be slow, but we've got to June and. Yeah, I mean that's right. It's your third way in. You've lost six pounds in that time. You're not coming off a huge starting weight anyway. So percentage wise. You're up there probably in the top five at the moment. Well, it's been a long, long time since I've even been down around 12 stones. So hopefully next week we'll get into the 11s. Yeah, I think you're going to be there. Wish you lots of luck. It's a brilliant job. Well done. A pound. Of OK, so we're going for the full sweep this week. Stuart Ritchie is from Belfast. He's next. Come up, Stuart. Uh, he So when you say level out, you reckon you haven't lost any weight this week, or what are you thinking? I think I might have. I uh, just think it's slowed down a lot. I mean, it is a big week. Uh, again, I had that big week at the start, and obviously here I am four weeks later, and I told you guys that this would happen, where it does begin to slow down. You, you get the weight off, and then, you know, without hopefully next week with um, the personal trainer at Jimco who's going to be taking me through my paces, he can start to get that moving for me. But when we're doing it by ourselves... It tends to, tends to slow down, doesn't it? It does, but you're, you're obviously a week in front of us, so you're going to slow down more and more. Uh, but, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll get something off today and it'll show on the scales. Well, you're down to 19.3. I don't know. it be the full stone since you started, so let's see if you've got it. Fingers crossed, jump on up the scales. This is Stuart from Belfast. 19 stone three a week ago on Slim for the Summer. Today here live at Jimco, the Cityside Mall in Belfast, your weight is... Four pounds. How are you feeling that? Yeah, I'm very happy with that. End of the eight teams now. That's what I wanted. You're not only down the stone, you busted it then. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. You've got to be happy with that. I mean, again, particularly if you don't think it's been an amazing week, there's your motivation to push even harder next week. Absolutely. I'll come back next week. About 18. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I've always been a big boy. Uh, brilliant result. And again... they could notice from the first week on the first video we did to where you are now you can really see that stone and a bit off you know what it's got to 16 17 pounds you're down and we're going to speak to Tracy from Newton Ards now is Tracy here no she isn't that's right Tracy's on the week off and Donard's also on the week off so that's all Not feeling too well, so we wish him uh, a speedy recovery. And obviously, Tracy is having the week off uh, too. Uh, Marie Rooney, uh, good, good luck, everybody. Uh,
Sharon and Dara shouting in, well done, Louise, and well done to everyone. Uh, you have been brilliant. And Kirsty also on our Facebook Live page today. Good luck to Ryan. Keep up the good work from the big sis. Um, you know what, guys? That was probably our best way. A combined eight and a half stone since starting this just a short few weeks ago. Uh, today, that number is going to be... Some people who thought they were maybe down and out, uh, Martin and Lorraine, who were really disappointed that first week, came back today and got... is key to spurring these guys on to make those tweaks in their life to really start to change things and lose weight. Great job all around. Well done. Give yourselves a big round of I only lost the one pound this week myself, and you guys mostly all... Uh, yeah, I'm a, week a I'm a week ahead, so... I like you. You can... nice to have. Uh, so thank you for watching our Facebook Live video. Feel free to continue commenting, sharing, and liking the page. Uh, join us back in the studio next Saturday for week five of Slim for the Summer. I'm going to be here a little bit more about what it really takes to completely change your life and to uh, be in a gym environment. who will take us through the next phase of our slim for the summer and really help us start peeling off uh, that weight. It is going to become difficult now as we move in to the fifth, sixth week of, of this when the, when, the, when the body does tend to start slowing down. So until next week, for me, Stuart Robinson, and again from all these guys as well who did brilliantly, have a great week. Big round of applause behind me, and we'll see you back for week five next Saturday afternoon. See you then. Slim for the Summer with Jimco, Finicky and Cityside. Start your summer body today. Join online at jimbelfast.co.uk.